say hey. So anyway, I'm back at the house trying to patch up some of this concrete outside. I'm gonna try to trying to patch this up here. We don't know if they're gonna trip off of that, but we wanna patch. Now what I'm doing is trying to get this old carpet glue up so that this can be painted. So that's what I'm doing now. Something done. I don't know what though. Maybe finish painting the baseboards. Checking in. say hey still over at this house so anyway so right now what we doing is just trying to fix these windows that they put in trying to caulk them paint the wood that they had up so anyway this is the window and right here they had to put some wood up because the person that put the windows in didn't put them in right and it was a lot of space so today we uh, painted them and caulked them because they wasn't caulked in really good out of wood I'm talking about. This is the wood they put up to correct their mess up and the caulking. Oh. So yeah, I went and got this. You back on the left. I'm going to show you something when you get down again. Yeah. So anyway, uh, and once that, uh, and once that's done, we'll be done on the outside. Oh, and paint around the house once you got the caulk and the paint onto the house. And then we can move on to the inside and paint the ceilings and fix the mess ups in there for us to paint. And move on to the basement. And then we should be done. I'll show you out the front. So let me give y'all a closer look of the wood, what they had to do. See, they had to put this wood here because they didn't put these windows in right. So we have to, these had to be put in so, and uh, painted. As you can see, this one wasn't put on right, so we didn't paint that. And But we painted the rest of the wood. So, so this is the outside. So we also <laughs> fixed those sinking holes that was there. It was the only thing that we really, really messed up on because we just couldn't get it right. But it's not all busted up anymore. Uh, I'm sure later on I will get it done. Power wash these bricks and painted them. And I think I showed y'all the doors already in the vlog. And we went on and painted the porch. The screen doors will go, the storm doors will go up later. But yeah, my new home. I can't wait to do an empty house tour for you all. So.
What's this? Cement? Mortar? Brick and mortar? Cream? Brick and mortar cream. Brick and mortar cream sounds good to me. So we ran out of the cream. So anyway, on that note, we'll see y'all in the morning. It's bedtime. We are about to go deuces in. So hey guys, another day. I'm checking in. Today we finished up the tuck pointing on the house today. Um, we started last night. You all saw that when I ended that vlog. But today we went back to finish it. It was a much better uh, process for us because it was daytime. It had started getting dark on us. So um, we couldn't really see and get it as precise as we wanted it. But today um, it's better and it looks better. Just wish we had waited to today just to do the whole project. And somebody y'all ain't seen in a while say hey hi <laughs> princess has hurt herself she was over at the new house playing and she kicked the ball too hard and she messed up her leg i think she pulled a muscle or something in her leg but um today she's better she's able to walk a little bit more better today um shut that door please so yeah like i said i'm on my way back to the house to do that and guys you know um y'all know the story i ain't give the full story but anyway my husband texted me um, because he took my title away from this house and I told him if he didn't bring it back I was gonna call the police on him. So anyway, he told me that he will pay for it and telling me all the ways that I can get my um, My title but in the text that he sent about my title He had never to ask me if my kids needed some school supplies like really you gonna ask me about some school supplies But you moved out on the first what you should have been doing is paying rent and giving me time to do what I had to do. Oh, he thought I was gonna be all jacked up because like I told y'all already before, when he told me that he was saving to move, honey, I start looking and two days later, um, the blessing came for that home. And not only that, when he moved out on the first, I got another financial blessing, how he can text me and ask me if my children needed some school supplies. Like really, what you should have been trying to do is make sure you pay all them bills you got over in my name. Y'all, he claimed he was paying all the bills. I'm Looking at all the bills, I got all the receipts right here. Electric bill 581, cable bill 700 and some dollars. Like, what bills were you paying? What bills were you paying? But that's what type of man he is. He likes to burn out and run. Like I said, he said his excuse was he was moving out because I didn't want him. Because I didn't want him, y'all. That's what he said. Like, that's the only thing you can come up with. He, either he got tired of paying those bills or he out there in them streets doing something he ain't got no business doing, probably gambling or something. I don't know. I don't know what God has planned, but I just know God has been blessing me ever since this fool tried to, you know, call himself playing me, but it didn't work at all. Well, he should know God don't play about his daughter's baby, no matter what, and he's not going to get no blessings no type of way like he took those cable boxes from my children like really who does that who does that that's evilness like what does the child have to do with you know what the adults are going through so anyway that's neither here or there i really don't want to talk too much in front of my princess but she was there she experienced the cable box boxes being taken away from her she was very upset about it she called me and then at work and when i got home she talked about it more so she knew about that much there anyway so i'm on my way back to the, the house over here um i came out my camera down because i don't never have my mount in the car i mean i got the thing that i use for it but i don't have the piece that goes on my camera so i'm gonna go ahead and drive back and um yeah i guess i'll see y'all when i get back to the house to show y'all uh some of the tuck pointed on uh the house that we did and show you people that had it before the person that bought it now that i'm getting it from everybody just did a totally totally messed up job and they didn't bother to fix what they messed up so basically that's what we doing all the painting all the tuck pointing all the caulking you know all the stuff that we doing like it's ridiculous how much work and money we didn't spend putting in this house so me and my children can um you know have a decent place to stay in them if y'all ever get someone in your life that's 100 you, i mean for as a friend no matter whatever type of relationship it is y'all make sure you cherish that I'm telling you my my ride or die this this is my baby right here y'all hear me she my ride or die she my friend she my soulmate and let me tell y'all something don't get it twisted though a, a lover does not have to be your soulmate a friend can be your soulmate a sister can be your soulmate how whomever can be your soulmate i'm telling you, we fit like a glove that is my friend i've been knowing her for since forever and she is everything to me and i appreciate her because it wasn't for her i'm telling
telling you this really uh even though the blessing came but in order for me to get the blessing and, and, and keep it going I wouldn't have done none of this if it hadn't been for her. So I just, you know, if you got somebody in your life that's good to you, cherish that person and um, and, and try to do unto them as they are doing unto you. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this camera off and I'll see y'all when I turn it back on. Bye. <laughs> so yes, I'm back at the house. Show y'all the tuck pond. It's pretty. It looked better than it was. This is all done. What's the matter, princess? <laughs> no more holes. Oh, and this over here, we can't get this to look no better. Like my friend said, in order for it to get better, they gotta take it. What'd you say? One brick at a time. <laughs> Yeah, but this is it. No more holes. I think I showed y'all the holes that was up there. They all done. Thanks to that person I just told y'all about in the car. She don't want to be on my vlog though. But I talked about it though. Anyway, that's all we're going to do for the day. And then we're going to go home and get ready for work tomorrow. It ain't too much more of that we can do over here um like i said that's all we got to do is wait a minute you know let me turn this light on oh that ain't do nothing um fix little mistakes like that where some of the gray paint got up there other than that we're all done and i can't wait to figure out how to get this ugly light out of here i bought a daytime light to put in here so i can vlog better but i don't know how to get it out hey y'all um i'm gonna go ahead and end this mini vlog and i'll see y'all when i turn this camera back on hey look how big of a hole this is but look what she did So hey y'all, we are back in the car. I need to head back up to Home Depot and get some more uh, concrete model. We ran out, did y'all see that big hole? So originally the person, whoever had the house before, or the people, the girl hired to do the painting, I don't know who did it, but they used caulk in that big hole I just sh showed you all that was just concreted by my friend and clearly on the inspection paper it says that there is to be no caulk so we chipped it away and put some more concrete there but we ran out um yeah that's why I'm on my way to Home Depot and also I gotta get some type of spray because um I think there's a wasp nest inside that hole because while she was trying to patch it up a wasp came no a wasp tried to, to get back in I don't know wasp be I don't know one of the two but they tried to get back in so we can't have that so we're getting ready to I'm gonna get the spray spray up in there and then we're gonna finish the job so anyway that's what I'm on my way to do now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera off so I see y'all when I turn it back on because I'm um, trying to hold it and drive at the same time just ain't right and princess what you over there doing thumbs up for the camera thumbs up for the camera baby yes so anyway, I'll see y'all when I turn this camera back on. She left it up to me to come and get this model. I hope I get the right one. Come on, princess. If I run, I'm probably gonna hurt my leg. You're doing better. No, you don't have to walk that fast now. I done made it over here where all the concrete stuff is. All I have to do is see the Thank you. the container. That was slippery. I'm gonna be careful. Concrete cracked silver. Nope, that's not it. It's brown. Here it is. Dang, and they only have one left. Is this it? See, it's a uh, mortar. See, it's two. Oh, pick that, pick that cord up. 
So it's two different kinds. But I think it's this one. Because she kept saying mortal. So non-sex. Oh, so they got one that goes on the side. That's what it is for uh, cracks and expansion joints in concrete, mortary, windows, door, and somebody else. But this is the can right here. I mean, not the can. Yep, because I remember to open it. But, and they only had one left. Thank God. So yeah, I'm done with my purchase. I'm on my way back to the house so we can fill in this hole I just showed you all. We'll finish up the job on that side because um, the one we had wasn't enough. So we have to go get some more. So anyway, I'll see y'all when I get back to the house. Anyway, that's all we're gonna do for the day and then we're gonna go home and get ready for work tomorrow. It ain't too much more that we can do over here. But yeah, that's all we got to do, so y'all. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog and I'll see y'all when I turn this camera back on. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, y'all I was gonna walk like this. Y'all didn't think that I